Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is how to delete selected row from data grid view using data grid view self click event in C sharp link you. Start SQL Server Management Studio. Okay, server number option PC authentication SQL Server authentication login SA and password is SQL Server authentication password. Connect. Okay, it's connected. Expand the database folder and expand the database. My database name is Programming Tutorial DB and table is uh, Product Info underscore tab. Okay. Now let's uh, see this one. The record. Records are product ID, item name, design, color, insert, drop it, and I expired it. Okay, now I'm gonna create a project in Visual Studio. Okay, now click on new project. Windows, select the location where you're gonna create this project. Okay, now name this project. Project name is DB Cylinder. Scroll click tutorial. Click on OK. Okay, the project is created. Resize this form and design this form with the label control and the data grid view control. So add a label control from the toolbox, just drag and drop. And change the text of this label control from the property. Text is delete selected row. Font size 16, font bold true. And for color is button paste. Okay. Now change the back color of this form. Back color is okay. This is uh, looking nice. Now add a data grid view from the toolbox. Just drag the data grid view and drop it in the Windows Form application. Okay, it's added. Now go to the form load event. Just the uh, now I'm gonna adding a link to the dbml file to connect to the SQL server. Okay, select the data in the left fan and click on link you to SQL classes. You can rename this name or you can keep it same. Okay, data class one dbml added now. Add connection in the server explorer. Server name is Roshan hyphen PC authentication SQL server authentication username SA password is SQL server authentication password as same. Say password and select the database. Database name is programming tutorial db. Test connection succeeded. Click on OK. OK, now it's connected. Expand the database, expand the table. Just uh, drag the table and drop it in the link you file dot dimmable file. OK, it's added. Now go to the form under CS. Call this link you file. File name is data class one. So this is data class one. Data context db equal to new data class data context. In the load event, I'm just writing code to load the records, all the records from product info underscore table to data grid view. So bar pro equal to from s in db dot product info underscore tab select s. Finally, data grid view one. Data grid view one. My data grid view name. Data grid view under data source equal to pro. Okay. Debug. Let's test. Yes, all the records displaying in the data grid view in Windows form using link query. Okay, now I'm gonna insert uh, two more records. 105 item name is calculator, design Dell, color black, and insert the data expired. 106 RAM, Dell, and color white. Okay, uh, two records inserted. Let's check. Yes. The records displaying in the data grid view now I'm gonna uh, delete selected row using data grid view cell click okay go to the Windows form click on the data grid view go to the property select click on event and double click on cell click event yes uh, I'm gonna write code to delete records from uh, database using data grid view cell click so uh, first of all I'm gonna declaring a variable variable is product ID integer type integer product ID equal to convert dot integer 32 data grid view one dot rows e dot row index dot cells and this is column index uh, column index is uh, zero because the product id is in the uh, zero uh, first in the first column so it's zero index uh, in the c sharp index always start from zero you know so 
now i am just uh, creating an entity bar pro del equal to from s in db dot product in founders code tab where product s dot product id product id equal to pro id pro id means uh, it will read from the data grid view uh, first column zero index select as dot first db dot product in founders code tab dot delete and submit pro del okay finally db dot submit change after executing the operation it will display the message message box dot show successfully deleted okay let's test debug yes now i'm gonna delete uh, 105 records calculator del yes successfully deleted but uh, the data grid view not replaced instantly so let's check in the database we replace this uh, records yes you can see 105 records already deleted now i'm gonna add a method to reload data in data grid view instantly in that case void load product and just uh, move this uh, code from the load event to method then i will just call this method in the form load event and data grid view self click event okay load product and call this method in the data grid view self click event in okay now i am adding a confirm message to execute delete operation because delete is confidential if you delete a records you cannot get back this records again so before performing the delete operation you should add a confirm message if message dot show are you sure to delete then the record document is delete to record and message box buttons dot yes no it will display two buttons yes no equal to dialog result dot yes i mean if you click yes then it will execute this uh, code if you click no it will execute nothing okay close the second break yes after clicking the yes button it will execute the delete operation let's test the start okay now click uh, uh, records are you sure to delete no it's not deleted are you sure to delete yes successfully deleted and you can see the result also displaying the in the data grid view instantly and replacing the data grid view okay thanks for watching this tutorial